next debate the latest developments in Ukraine and the ongoing U.S. response to the Russian invasion with tonight's panel. Fox News contributors Leslie Marshall and Jason Chaffetz and the author of the book Green Fraud, Why the Green New Deal is Even Worse Than You Think, Mark Morano. Great to have all of you with us tonight. Hi, Shannon. Thank you. Glad to be here. So let's start here. Um, we've got a little information to put on the screen. This is about gas prices and inflation. So the national average now $4.32 a gallon as of Thursday. Year over year uh, inflation 7.9% up on the inflation measures. Um, Mark, not a great day for the White House on the economy. No, it's not. And I think the key point here is when it comes to inflation, it's being driven by these high energy costs. And one of the things you can say that President Biden did, his rhetoric and actions in Treasury Department defunding fossil fuels, he sent a signal to all the energy markets that America is closed for energy exploration. And immediately, you can look at the charts, the, almost the day President Biden was inaugurated, gas prices started to climb. They sensed the scarcity. So what he's done is he's fueled uh, an economic disaster with high energy costs leading to high inflation. And this is going to pound Americans who have already been two years in with COVID restrictions, now facing very similar restrictions, basically canceling vacations, uh, limiting stuff, articles bragging that you can't eat meat and steak anymore and hamburgers because they're not going to be able to afford it food prices through the roof. Mm. This is a very, very bad signal, and he's going to have to reverse policy given it's a midterm. I can't imagine he's going to keep doubling down and refuse well. to open pipelines and refuse to open energy. Yeah, I mean, we had a piece yesterday that was was um, actually quoting a number of Democratic strategists saying, listen, the president's idea now of going after Putin and blaming inflation and the gas prices on him is actually good. Everybody wants a villain, and it's good to go after Putin. It's easy to go yeah. after Putin, and they think it's a winning message for the midterms. But in response to some of that talk, former Obama economic advisor Stephen Ratner tweeted Thursday, um, no, when the White House tried to say that they're actually moving in the right direction. He said the numbers are February's numbers, and they only include a small Russia effect. This is Biden's inflation and he needs to own it. Leslie, any chance he will? I don't think it's Biden's inflation. I think if we just look at history, I don't care if it's a Democrat or a Republican who was in the White House, the independent Federal Reserve actually has a lot of control over inflation, and we see that they're going to be soon possibly raising interest rates. And with regard, I even said during the Trump administration, and I'm a liberal Democrat and also a Democratic strategist, I, I did not blame Donald Trump when gas prices were going up because the global uh, market is what determines the price of oil, not Joe Biden. Biden. And I know Republicans like to talk about one huge piece of legislation that passed with a big price tag, but there are other pieces of legislation with bigger price tags mm -hmm. that were put forward that did not pass. And opening the, pi the pipeline yeah. or over 9,000 permits that the oil company is not using that they have at their disposal no. to drill for more, even if they okay. did drill, drill there, even if they open the there, pipeline, yeah. it's not going to change the pricing today. There's a yeah, there's a lot more to that. Yeah, and it won't. We, are, we just have a little bit of time left, so I want to make sure we get Jason in here and give you the final word. Uh, look, on day one, he shut down Anwar. He shut down uh, the, the permitting. Not only do you have to go get a lease, then you got to get permits. And to put the incentives on the bank to not uh, offer the loans to develop those leases, those all have an effect. The bottom line is Joe Biden has no plan. He has no plan to tackle inflation and to go after the energy prices. It's a disaster. He has nothing, he has no, no, okay. no place to go other than to reverse policy. All right, we got to leave it there.